We're here in New Orleans, Louisiana, covering the FSX Interlink Winter Conference. The capital raising formation is important in America, and before these guys and gals got down to serious business, they decided they should devote a day giving back to the city in which they were holding their conference. They participated in SBP, the St. Bernard Project, which is part of the Katrina relief effort. And we were there to take a look. Why don't you join us and let's see what they did to give back to New Orleans. So right now we're rebuilding a house for the Perry family. We're working on the trim phase, the ceramic phase, and getting ready for plumbing and electrical trim outs to come in this week. We're doing the, doing the program to get people to get back in their houses and get their family back together and you know, bring their family back close together, you know. We like to think we're like somebody's neighbors. So we believe a bunch of neighbors can help rebuild somebody's house. So we're lucky enough to get a lot of volunteers from a lot of different places who jump in and do what they need to do to help people get home. You know, giving back is really important and it's often not an opportunity to thank people. But here we have the opportunity to thank someone for the tremendous contribution to the capital formation process here in America and someone that has focused a lot of their life on giving back. It's been a great, great run and I just want to thank all of you. Oil and gas is big news today and everywhere, but it all seems to be about the big oil companies, Exxon, Chevron, BP. What about the small producers? What's going on there? I have questions and I'm sure you do too. In light of the current status of the energy market, what's it cost them to produce a barrel of oil today? What are their acquisitions currently in their strategy? And what about new drilling programs? Important questions for small producers. We ask our correspondent, Troy Vanderberg, to get out there and talk to one of them and get some answers. Let's see what he had to say. So we're between nine and 11 bucks a barrel to get it out of the ground and add on another four to five dollars a barrel to transport it. So that makes us a really, really low cost investment. With, with the drop in oil prices, what is the acquisition uh, in, in the industry oh, like? What, oh, what, what are our acquisitions like? That's great, the, the market couldn't be better, honestly. The market couldn't be a better environment for uh, com small companies who can act very quickly uh, to react to the, pri the falling prices of oil also hurts the mid-tier guys who then have to shed some of their smaller assets at a severe discount to the market where guys like us are sitting just waiting to pick up those assets very cheaply, which goes back to how we get the oil out of the ground so cheap. We are starting a new drilling program okay. and uh, we're going to drill up to 26 wells out of this program. So that would, uh, therefore, estimates are that we should quadruple our production sometime this year. Hinto Energy Director of Finance Gary Herrick also explains handling stock volatility today. I think it's one of the best times ever uh, to be in the oil and gas business as a small producer uh, and acquire, acquire, acquire. You know, raising capital is important and we had an opportunity to look at a company that was talking to the family office space, small fund managers and big ticket writers and high net worth people and they were dealing in the digital community space. One of the key things that we do is we build sort of portfolios of portfolio companies where when we make one investment in a company, for example, Social Connect has um, one app right now, one community called Smart Mom, it's for new moms, it's, it's blowing up, it's doing extremely well. That is actually a prototype for building smart fishermen, smart patients, smart you name it. Uh, and so our goal is actually to build and sell multiple sub-communities within that one investment, which means that a 20 or 50 or 100 million dollar exit for each it adds up pretty quickly. Pressure Biosciences, a life sciences tool company. They have something that labs all over the world are interested in. The change might be with the new high throughput system. The new high throughput system could run up to 48 samples simultaneously. Wow. We've been working on it for four years. You're exactly right, November, December, we shipped out three units to three key opinion leaders. Okay. Amazing labs that we said, look, we want to know the good, the bad, and the ugly. Just tear it apart. We are just tickled pink that, that three days ago we got a purchase order for the instrument that one of the three received. Covering the FSX Interlink Conference in New Orleans was fun and rewarding. If you didn't make it, we hope you'll make it with us at the next conference at the end of April, beginning of May in Atlanta, Georgia. I want to thank you for being with me and we'll see you next time.